Hey, and welcome back. We're here again, uh, playing Final Fantasy IX. And my name is Rocket. And I'm Frank Dean. Alright, so let's get this started. We're gonna... Where do we need to go? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> um, up here? You can, uh, I don't actually think there's anything up here worthwhile. Okay. Well, let's... Unless you want to talk to the Queen for whatever reason. No, I want to get this going. I want to... Yeah, that's, that's probably where we're supposed to go. I know that you're looking for the Knights of Pluto to assemble them. Okay. So. Uh, no, I have no idea where these people are. Knight? No. Chef. Or Dishmeister. Dishmeister. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I, I'm sure there's going to be hidden items across the screen, too. Oh. I, okay. Yeah. How far back this goes? Wow, this is a very deep screen. Yeah. Um. I think there's. I want to say there's. Oh, twelve total. Twelve uh, items or twelve knights. Knights. Okay. Uh, nothing here. No exclamation points. All right. Uh, get in there. Knights actually, I think, are used twice in this game. All right, that's a playable character later, right? Yep. Queena. I like I like Queena. Well, she's she's really cool. Or he, Queena is really cool. Okay. It is really cool. It. I don't like saying it. I don't either. It's, yeah. it's kind of derogatory, isn't it? Uh, I guess. I mean, I think it's fine to be at least a little derogatory in a fantasy game where they purposely made something non-identifiable. Mm -hmm. True. True. But I, I still just don't like it. And do you ever run into other, like, of her, of, of the things, of, of that person's species? Quan. There are quans. There are quans. That's, that's the name of their race. And two. There's two. And what was that guy? Are. Is he, uh... He is. Oh, my <laughs> God, chase this guy. Uh... He'll come out of the right side of the screen now. I think. No. Nope. Well, so you gotta, you gotta find a way to trap him. I'm gonna do this again. Uh -huh. yep. So I think the trick is to be on one side of the screen. So, <coughs> excuse me. So that when he comes out, he starts doing the full loop. All right, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Waiting. I think he's gonna come out on the left side this time. I think by default comes out on the left side. So. Stay there. Now go. Oh, shit. So, like, so you see how he stopped right there? If you're at the bottom of what ten, he would have kept going. He could have just, like, cut him off. Yeah. Okay. Which side? Got him. Dojibon. Dojibon. That is a... <laughs> that that is a Digimon. We have a Digimon uh, little knight. All right, so that all I need to do is just talk to him. Yep, that was it. Okay. All right, so this is number nine. Yep. I don't know. Do you do, you, um... do we actually have to find them all, or is it? Is there like a special thing we get for finding them all, or is it? I I don't know if you actually have to find them all first. Um, because if it's not worth it, I'm I'm totally cool with just yeah, know, just moving on. I know you do have to eventually. Like it's it, you, there's no option behind it. Nah. But yeah, I think you can just leave the castle at this point, which is down. The, <coughs> not this. Um, way. no, it's the way you came. So down the steps and then below. Um, this way. Yeah. You left the castle. Now there's some other knights out here. Ah. <laughs> hmm. See, I'm actually wondering if there is any hidden items right now. He does not have a name. Uh, I assume that's because he's not really a knight. Maybe. Yeah, wouldn't the knights be named because they're proud of their shtick? 
You assume so. So, if you remember earlier in the game when we were playing as heroine, maybe. Yeah. Uh, we saw a plaque tonight in Pluto, and they were supposed to be really brave and really, I guess, brazen. And these guys, on the other hand, they're kind of they're kind of schmucks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just fishing and not really doing what they're supposed to be doing. Yeah. So you had to find that one. I don't know why. Hmm. There's the Alexandrian Knights. There's one right there. The thing is, if you actually remember what they're doing now, it comes into play later. Okay. And no, I, I will never remember what they're doing. Okay. Because they have such weird names, like, I, don't know, I can't be bothered. Oh, okay. So I, I can't be expected to remember them either. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay, good. Good deal. It's another one of those uh, reward things if you can complete a certain task in a certain way. Gotcha. So recently I've been playing uh, Final Fantasy XIII, ah. and um, one of the biggest gripes for that game is the beginning is very linear, like yeah. it's a bunch of just basic hallways and stuff. But I was I was thinking back about a lot of Final Fantasy games, especially anything after. No, they're all they're all like I, I think they all are very. Um, gated games, like they're not open world kind of like Fallout or Oblivion where as soon as you get out of the dungeon you are free to walk across the whole map. Yeah. And 13, uh, I think it's it's pretty linear until you get to a very certain point of the game. Exactly. And I and 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 I haven't actually gotten very far in Final Fantasy 13, but mm. but what I've heard is that it, it it does open up, and eventually you get to this whole other place that is basically like a free-roaming area. Yeah. And so, I, I don't know. I, I, looking back and playing these games now, all the previous Final Fantasies, I see that same kind of... It's it's limited, know, yeah. A, a gate, a gated like progression, where you have to go through this certain passageway to do this certain thing... To get to the next passageway, and um, this looks yeah, especially for the time. Sedain was Sedain was my hero when I was younger, man. I mean, this is just fun. I yeah, mean, it's, it's, it's you know, it's it, it, yeah, it's great. And the, it sort of wraps around what, how I feel about this game. It's something that really doesn't take itself too serious. Mm -hmm. But there are definitely really somber and very serious moments throughout the game. Mm -hmm. Those shoes look like tennis shoes. <laughs> oh man, night boots. He got himself some night Jordans. <laughs> Everybody knows it. it's it's a book book Nike is where it's at, man. Yep, yeah, yeah, there you go. Oof! I'm gonna challenge these guys' cards. Come on. <laughs> yep. Yeah. They get right back at it. <laughs> they ain't even phased. <laughs> they just got the crap knocked out of them. <laughs> They're like, yep, right back to it. No, I think it's like, yeah. No, I can't. I can't stand this. I got white mages running over the building. I can't deal with this. Mm -hmm. Hold your horses. What kind of cattle are chasing, darling? I, I, I assume. Oh. <laughs> He's going for a, a Texas Southern accent. Yeah. The uh, it's really out of place in this game, actually. If you stop to think about it, and where is the South in in this game? Ruby is the Paula Deen of Final Fantasies. Hmm. So let's hope she's not. <laughs> Let's hope she doesn't get caught in that same trap. All right, so yeah. anyway, I'm gonna just skip <laughs> over that. <laughs> Oops. She's best friends with Ratface, man. Ruby is. Yeah. No. Oh, wow. No. 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 Not really. Oh, okay. I. You, you're gonna say these things, and I'm just gonna take well, you I, as, I was, as, as believing them right off the bat. I was going back to some of that subtext. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> is that the? Is that the downtrodden race of this this world? Is the uh, black mages? Uh, oh, okay. 
Yeah. But of, of, of the rat kid, though. The rat kid. Um. Huh. No. Not yet. I don't. Not yet. <laughs> what is. What is. Okay, never mind. Yeah, the stairs are there. I'm. Um, I'm trying not to give you too much. That's fine. Yeah. I. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so okay, well, you said you played this before. Do yep. you remember where you stopped? Yeah, I got to the world map, uh, and wasn't very far in. I'm, I'm going to say it was probably maybe two hours tops. Mm. I think that was where I got to. And um, due to, you know, life getting in the way of gaming, I started doing other things. And this kind of fell to the, to the back burner and then just disappeared. And uh, I eventually sold the game. Or I think I traded it in for some other stuff. Um... It's a shame. Yeah, you know it is. Because uh, there's a lot of craftsmanship in this. This is this is a well thought out game, mm. and uh, I never got yeah. to finish it. It's like buying a book and not reading it, and or starting to read it and then getting rid of it before you can finish it. Yeah. You you basically buy the Brothers Karamazov and forget you have it for a while. Mm -hmm. like, oh, I read the first chapter, but that was about it. Yeah. I know about the father of the of the boys, but <laughs> well, um, as far as the craftsmanship, the reason with this to me, this stands as my personal favorite, it isn't necessarily that I think it excels okay. any one particular area. Okay, it just nails every area at least somewhat well. Mm -hmm. And where I would see sort of a major problem in other Final Fantasies, like, okay, a good example, Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> Audio disturbance. It's very professional. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Final Fantasy VII had a lot of really good games going for it. Good job, Franco D. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> we know now Franco D is a Pink Floyd fan, but, so there's, there's nothing wrong with that. This is ambiance for the actual story. Um, so Final Fantasy VII, I, I had very awful side quests. I couldn't stand them. Mm -hmm. Final Fantasy IX, does it have the best side quests? Maybe, maybe not, but they're good. Okay. They're good. Okay. Cool, cool. We got a champ here. I'm just gonna silence this. You should. Well, this keeps going. Yeah, and our, our buddy Stick here, he's, he's sort of like the bumbling idiot of the team for a while. And a bit too loyal to his charge. Alright. Secret door on the floor. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> It's good. So you remember uh, the Final Fantasy VI uh, opera scene, right? Yeah. Where there's some improv going on because Ultros oh. kind of crashed the party. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. That was Ultros. Good gracious. <laughs> yeah. Um, the Purple octopus thing with sharp teeth. No motive. He just does things because. Because. Yeah. And you're right about this night, by the way. <laughs> So you get we get to see that once again. Boing, boing. An improvised part for uh, somebody crashing the party, so to speak. Mm. What a waste. No time for idle banter. She's she, she's proper, man. Bantering. I like bantering. I do it all the time. It's what we're doing now. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it will be our bread and butter. Yeah. I'm gonna go down these steps because I feel like there's something back here. 
Yeah, I never think I actually even bother going down here. Mm -hmm. That's because there's nothing down here. Mm. Over here. Ah. Over here. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Oh. So they were still square soft at this point, right? Yes. Yeah. Enix was not involved yet. So I don't get to cuss Enix. Just square soft. Mm -hmm. True. Anything that goes wrong, this is all square soft right now. Yeah. It's like blaming everything on the guy who quit a week ago, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, Trevor, man, he just... Ah, oh, Trevor. Fuck. Oh, that guy. I swear, he put everything away in the wrong place. It wasn't years of my own incompetence. It was Trevor. Mm -hmm. Worked for nope. two months, and he quit. And he stole all of the paper clips. Yeah. What, that? You mean that paper clip statue on my desk? <laughs> it was you. It was Trevor. Mm -hmm. I told him not to do it. <laughs> statue of me? Yeah. All right, so now we're fighting Stick. We're fighting Stick. Still, still. Or one should also... One should steal as normal. Still. Still. Slow, slow, slow. You know, uh, you can speed it up. I, I, I totally recommend speeding up the battles. So this is in the options? Yeah. Okay, I was about to say, because... Oh, okay, we're good. It's up here. So we got everything? Yep. You're really lucky with the stealing, man. So there, there's a formula for stealing, right? <clears throat> and there's four tiers. Okay. And so something like a phoenix down is in the very easiest tier, or a potion. Gotcha. And there's one in the ultra hard tier, which would usually be a weapon. But you have two that you you stolen already that are kind of the mid tier. And then there's very there's a very complicated formula that goes into this based on your speed, I think. Okay. It's like your speed divided by 20 times your level or something like that. It's really ridiculous. Unless you have Master Thief. Master Thief. Oh, whoops. Yeah, he put those in his uh, jacket earlier. Good job. What are those? They're, they're odd bugs. <laughs> I, I can't tell from like the little... They're like, there's, there's bugs. That's... Okay. Well, they they kind of look like, well, there you go. It's kind of like how you just hate roaches. I mean, ah, roaches are disgusting. Yeah. No. I mean, I definitely have a, uh, a visceral reaction to roaches, especially them anywhere on my person. So, yeah. 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 No, I, I completely with you there. Yep, yep. No fear of no. roaches. No. It's just like, ah, get the thing off me. It's, it's what they represent, which disgusts me. This is coming from a guy who has piles of beer cans like next to his bed. <laughs> yeah, this is, oh roaches are disgusting. <laughs> beer fans, no, 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 these beer cans are completely natural. <laughs> I'm gonna build a fort. Mm. No matter how deeply she might believe, she doth love thee. Never shall I see her marry a peasant such as thee. Nice. I'm, I'm, I'm done. No. <laughs> oh, you should have kept going. That was nice. I liked it. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Okay. That was very melodramatic. <laughs> I mean, there's plenty of camp in this game already. Yeah. Uh, you're, it's right up your alley. Got it, got it. Get on number two. Uh, butts. Butts, number two. Yeah. Number two, butts, number two. So the champ's got it right all day, every day. Show... Man. Him who number two works for. That's right. Hey, we're about to go into another scripted battle. This is one thing I don't like about particularly this this game and a lot of Final Fantasy games actually is you'll go through a, a long series of scripted battles. Okay. Where you get nothing out of no yeah. experience. I mean, you, we stole some pointy hats, which is all nice. Oh, we didn't get experience points for fighting stick early, did we? No, we haven't got a senior experience point this entire game so far. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Talk about progress. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, narrative progress is a real thing. I mean, as long as the story is progressing and we're finding out about the characters, that's worthwhile. You can't always assign a, a, a numer numerical value to reward. Oh, yeah. 
And if you uh, just, just watch what's going on here. So they've crashed the party. Mm-hmm. And Garnett's just fitting right in, right? Yeah. Poor Stick over here. He, he, he thinks it's still real. Yeah. To a certain degree. Ron Schneider. It's the Ron Schneider joke right there, man. Or Rob Schneider? Yeah. Rob Schneider is stick. I, okay. I'm, I'm not going to comment on that because it's a really bad voice. <laughs> no. It's supposed to be a bad voice. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> you succeeded, sir. You didn't you say the South Park episode. No. No. Oh, okay. I don't watch a lot of uh, South Park. I'll tell you after this. So I, I I understand South Park and I enjoy it when I do watch it. It's just I'm not an uh, an avid watcher. Like I now it's come down to subject matter. Like if there's a subject that they're covering on that episode yeah. that interests me, then yes, hmm. I will watch that episode. But I don't go every week and watch episode episode episode. I do. So, I don't know. still, I mean, they kind of change the the mood every season a bit. So, it always feels kind of fresh. Oh, no, the poor stick, man. Look at he is so. <laughs> he is selling it on accident, by the way. Yeah, he totally believes this is real. <laughs> Wait, what? Prithee, forgive my selfishness, father. And spare my sweet Marcus. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good. Oh, poor stick. Oh! There goes Marcus, man. Oh my! Now, how does she not know that's her daughter? <laughs> well, I mean, the white hood. Also, she's very far away. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'll give you that. I mean, she had to buy her the white hood, right? Mm hmm. Look at them, um. What year did this come out in? 90 something? <laughs> I'm gonna say 99. Alright, so 99 jiggle effects going on there. Like, this is the birth of the jiggle effects. Yeah. yeah. So, um, dead or alive, eat your heart out. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Why play that game when you can get all you all the jiggle you want? Oh, right here. Yeah, it's right here. And look at that hair, man. You know you want to pull on those pillow details. Uh, watch the jiggle. Watch the jiggle. All right. Puck. Right. Puck. Puck. Listen. Ah. Uh, puck. The stereotypical trickster name. Yeah. So now we have heroin. We have stick. We have Garnet, which we haven't named yet. No. And we have Bites. So she kind of requests names, though. Like, she's like, what do you call this? Yeah. And then she's like, I want to be called that. Um, it was Dagger. Yeah. It was a cool name. I actually like it. Are we sticking with that? Or are we going to name her something else? No. <laughs> of course we're going to name her something else. Mm. You better leave that heroin alone. So I was thinking about this earlier, and how you he, ah wow <laughs> ah! how he's able to traverse from a point in the game, which we'll figure out later, mm-hmm. to here. Yeah, like how did you survive? Mm. Okay. As uh, uh, you, you, I have no idea what you're talking about right now. So yeah, because. I'm clueless, but I'm sure we will find out. And you'll see why I asked that in about uh, roughly 20 minutes. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, speaking of time, uh, we're going to end it here and uh, pick it up next time. Uh, have a modern day.